We are at Rooster Cogburn's Ostrich Ranch. We used to live in Phoenix, and we used to always stop at the ostrich farm between Phoenix and Tucson when we would make this road trip. And this was a very enjoyable memory for us and our family. So we're gonna stop by. They have upgraded since. It used to be just a roadside stop where you would feed the ostrich, and now they have a whole farm full of animals. We're gonna check it out today on our road trip. Come and join us. Hi. It's going to be 45 here, sweetie. Put that in your pocket. Thank you. That's okay. going to be good for your stingray food. Yeah, you okay. You don't have like a poker table or anything? Well, that's at 7 o'clock. That's the night show. All right. But my mom, she eats so bad. I just want you to know. I have such fond memories of this place. Now, today there's a couple school a couple of school buses full of kids from Queen Creek. So, yeah, uh, it's a little noisy in here, but these kids are having a great time. This is a great place to come and bring your family. See right behind me, all the kiddos. <laughs> Okay, the guy's helping out in this farm are a little crazy. Let's see, woo, he's coming to get it. Hi, a cute little donkey, woo. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go see the lorikeets. I guess we have like a little, oh, parakeets, not lorikeets, they're parakeets. Put the stick with the seed in it. Oh my goodness. Hello, birdies. They're all so hungry. Little reindeer. Hi, beautiful. You want some? Hi. See if I can get this big one. Look at the big antlers. Hey. Hi, beautiful. Can you even get your, can you even get in here? Wow. Just beautiful. Hi, beautiful, you got little baby antlers. Now, I have no idea what this is or why they would put these goats way up high. Put the pellet on the thing and you want to wheel it up there in a cup, but it's too windy. So the sign says, why are the goats up high? Well, the sign says they're known to be climbers and they like to be up high. I don't know if I really think they like to be up there in that pen. What do you think? It's gonna fall over on me. They're chewing. They really want to kiss. All right. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? <laughs> Ooh! Oh, it dropped from her. <laughs> get closer, get closer. There you go. He wants a kiss. So yes. Now this used to be the main attraction, the ostriches. And they used to only have ostriches off the side of the road. And now they have made this whole farm. Look at all these ostriches waiting to be fed. I'm gonna give this a try. Ooh! They're a little snappy. They're a little snappy. Don't get your fingers bitten off. The ostriches are the one animal you gotta be a little careful with. All right, now we're going to the little hen house. Let's see what's over here. Hi, baby. Hi. Is that all you get? Okay. Not much, they're a little stingy. Take it easy. Okay. <laughs> While you guys are fighting, I'll take some and give it to this one. <laughs> okay, let's find the bunnies. Let's find the bunnies and the ducks now. 
And all the kids are having a blast. Oh, you can get up higher with the ostriches up here. No, thank you. The ostriches are kind of brutal. Uh, there's some beautiful sheep. Oh my God, there's sheep over here and they're so pretty. St. Croix sheep. Oh, I almost gave you the asparagus. Who gets the asparagus? The turtle. Oh, the turtle, okay. Aww. I don't know why they put them in these like containers, basically. Oh my God, he's gonna get stuck. My grandparents had goats growing up, so I have a little fondness for goats. I used to have a little goat and my grandma's named Baby Lisa. This one's beautiful. You're so beautiful. Okay, cuties. Now it's time to feed the bunnies. And the bunnies are over here and it says that the ostrich feed will make the bunnies sick and the much needed hand sanitizing station. Your hands get a little bit of gunk, I have to be quite honest. Oh my God, I literally got five pieces. Is that how much you got? I got jib. Did I not turn it all the way? I pretty much got jibbed on that one. My family members got more food, but that's okay. Well, that one's hungry. He came right over. Let's see. Oh, they're all named. Look, there's Chong and Raymond. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Craig. Okay, now we're gonna go see the crazy, I think these are the lorikeets. Am I right? Is this the lorikeets? Yeah, I put your hood on. The lorikeets. Are they gonna like land on my camera? I don't know. Let's hope they don't poop when they're up there. Stingrays are hungry. How we do them to take a piece of this food, which is squid or calamari. You lay it on your hand like this. Okay. Hold it slightly between your fingers, otherwise it's going to float away. Put your hand down the water about that deep. You may not even get that deep because they're hungry. They swim over top of your hand. And they eat the same way little kids eat spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> they suck it off your hand like a little bite. While they're doing that, you can reach in and pet them and interact with them. Woo! <laughs> oh, there's only one more piece of food. You want to do the last one? There's only one more left. Okay, well we got a long drive to San Diego, so we're wrapping up today at the Ostrich Farm. This is Rooster Cogburn's, Rooster Cogburn's Ostrich Farm. This is a lot of fun for the whole family. If you ever have time, you're ever in the area, I highly recommend you stop in here. And you know what? Just as adults, I had just as much fun, if not more, than all the kids that are here. So thanks for watching.